Good morning, and welcome to our symposium. We felt that uh, at Stanford, uh, tumor heterogeneity represents one of our biggest challenges. You know, we talk so much about personalized medicine, how we're going to target therapies. We have tumor boards talking about targeting specific mutations. And yet the reality is that tumors are so complex, uh, so heterogeneous, not to use the word too frequently, that we really haven't taken all of these into consideration. So this symposium was really designed to bring increased awareness to the problems of tumor heterogeneity. And to do that, we have uh, brought in some of the, the best uh, people from around the, the globe. <laughs> if uh, you say that UK and, and the United States are around the globe. Uh, no, we're very thrilled to have them here talking to us today about new concepts and tumor heterogeneity. So I think uh, to the main purpose is to have a few keynote talks for each topic, or a keynote talk for each topic, followed by discussion. And we really hope that the audience will participate actively. I think a lot of what will come out of this is coming from dialogue, and the panels are specifically designed for you to ask questions and to have interactions. So with that, uh, I will just give a few brief housekeeping announcements. Uh, first of all, the Wi-Fi address should be on your table. Um, it's Stanford Institute 2000, or St Cancer Institute 2014. We will have a reception at 4.30 outside just in the hall, and we will have posters at that time, so please take a look at the posters. Uh, the restrooms are around the corner, a little hard to find, but if you turn right and then right again, uh, the restrooms are there. And we will be videotaping uh, the presentations today. So uh, we would like any questions to come from the microphones. Just please get up and, and use the microphone so we can get it all on tape. With that, uh, I would like to introduce Ron Levy. Uh, Ron is our Associate Director for uh, Translational Research at the Stanford Cancer Institute, and he will be hosting this event. Ron? Thank you, Bev. It's nice to see all of you out here so early in the morning. And uh, as Bev said, we hope this is going to be interactive. And even the people in the back of the room, we expect to hear from you. There are microphones set up and uh, come and uh, ask questions and help us uh, really delve into this issue. Someone helping us do this? Oh, sorry. OK, I figured it out. So uh, tumor heterogeneity is something that we talk a lot about, and, and we mean various things by it. Uh, some people mean the uh, variation from one person to the next, uh, even though we call the cancer by the same name. Different people may have different versions and different mutations and different uh, driving forces behind their disease. And often when we talk about personalized medicine, we talk about picking the right drug or the right treatment for, for the individual patient. That's a, a very important problem. It's not the one we're going to be focusing on here at this conference uh, in the next day or two. Rather, uh, we're going to be talking about, I'll get it, the, the variation within an individual patient's tumor uh, between one cell to the next. Uh, this is a serious problem for all of us who've dealt with cancer ev uh, in, in, in the laboratory or in the clinic, where we know that patients may have uh, ability to respond to various treatments, but then the tumor finds a way around and, and finds pathways that escape our treatments. And so it's this problem that we want to really dive into and, and really examine in great detail. Um, this is not a new issue. As you know, um, back in 1976, and, and a lot of people refer back to this uh, classic paper by Peter Knoll, where he talked about the evolution of tumors from an original um, uh, tumor-initiating cell. Uh, and as, as the uh, tumor uh, divides and uh, generates daughter cells, undergoes mutation and, and selection from various forces within the host or treatments that we um, um, impose on the, on the population. We wind up with a, with a population of evolved tumor cells uh, that are very heterogeneous and different one to the next. And uh, so this not being a new problem, the question is, why are we having this conference? Why, what's the, why is this topic uh, of, in, of special interest to us today? And I think it's because the technology has evolved to the point where we can really 
study this problem in great detail and see whether there's uh, hope to be able to, to deal with this problem. So he, at that time, um, put forward a number of postulates, some of which were obvious at the time and some of which have held up over time. The tumor is initiated by a genetic change in an original single cell. Um, the genetic instability leads to further mutations, and there's a selective advantage leading to the outgrowth of subclones from within the tumor. The fully developed malignancy is composed of a unique collection of cells with aneuploidy and antigenic characteristics, and continued variation occurs as long as the tumor persists. So um, these, are, uh, these are the uh, problems that we can uh, um, address and, and enumerate and, and see uh, what the uh, potential solutions would be. So for this conference, I'd like to kind of divide it into uh, several different parts of the question. Uh, a lot of people are going to be helping us to define just how big a problem this is. The technology has evolved to where uh, we can ana analyze genes and cells in great detail and in the population. And so a number of the speakers are going to be talking about the technology and how it's um, un uh, revealing for us how, just how big a problem this is. And then other speakers are going to be talking about how we're going to address it. So the various ideas that have been put forward about how to address this problem are um, one is to attack a rare population of cells that have self-renewing properties, so-called st cancer stem cells. If there is a, truly a cell in the population, which is the generator, the continued generator of all the rest of the cells, is it sufficient to go after just that generator cell that self-renews and generates the whole population of evident tumor cells? Uh, another idea is to analyze the genetic lesions that are shared by all the tumor cells those that arose at the root of the evolutionary tree at the original initiating cell and retained and, and required for continued survival of the, of the daughter cells. Are there lesions that, that we can find which are a druggable or attackable in various ways that are shared by all the tumor cells and not heterogeneous within the population? And a third idea is to marshal the immune system, a system that has a lot of the properties of cancer in the, self that, uh, in the sense that it self-renews it adapts, it mutates, and it deals with a changing uh, environment uh, from outside the host and perhaps uh, a changing environment from within the host, uh, so-called fighting, fighting fire with fire. And then taking a, um, a page out of the infectious disease handbook, where we don't usually treat infectious diseases which have the same properties that we're talking about here with one drug. We usually make combinations which have independent modes of action and deal with the unlikely probability that any one cell will share all of these vulnerabilities uh, that we go after with the combinations of approaches. So you can imagine all of these being put together in some combination that deal with this problem. So a number of our speakers are going to be dealing with various parts of, of this very question. So the symposium today is uh, going to span uh, some of the, as I said, some of the, the, the te technology developments that allow us to make the measurements uh, like sequencing and single cell analysis that are going to help to find the problem for us. And then we have uh, people who are focusing on therapies which uh, address the problem in various ways. And clinical trials are going to be discussed, the design of clinical trials taking into account what we know is the uh, crux of the problem of the heterogeneity problem and how we're going to design those trials to prove, prove um, what we think is true about how to address this problem. So uh, let me introduce our first keynote speaker. Uh, Cornelia Poliak is a professor uh, Department of Medicine at Harvard Medical School. Uh, she's been focusing on, focusing on breast cancer and the tumor heterogeneity within, uh, within breast cancer. Cornelia, thank you very much for being here. 